Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, Leah. Hello. How are you? How are you doing there? I'm fine. Fine? Yeah. All right. Great. That is really good to hear. How was your day today? How was your Mm -hmm. How was your day? Did you have a good day, a bad day? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Was it so so? Hello, hello. 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Leah? I cannot hear you. Hello there. I guess um, we are having, hello. Hello. Leah, can you hear me? Hello there. Hello, hello. Are you there, Leah? Hello. 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 Hello, Miss. How are you? Oh, me. Sí, ahora sí, él escucha, Lía. How are you? ¿Cómo está? How are you? Creo que tenemos un par de dificultades con el audio, right? Se me pierde un poquito por ahí. Miss from Moto E4, hello. No se le corta el internet, no sé. No sé si está hasta allá, no. No me lo voy a cortar. Lía, hello. Ahora sí la logro escuchar, right there. Hello, teacher. Hello, ahora sí, perfect. I can hear you now. Sí, se nos está cortando, but don't worry, ¿ok? Si no me logra escuchar, or I cannot hear you, usemos el chat, all right? It's okay. There's no problem. Okay. So, okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for, for joining class number uh, 15, all right? Terminamos clases el día de mañana, all right? So, vamos um, a hacer como una antesala, right? To the ending of it, para que también podamos terminar la plataforma en caso que no hemos eh, terminado. But, but you tell me, ¿cómo vamos? Ya casi la logramos Sorry. terminar. Para Sorry, cuando tienen proyectado. ¿Cuándo dijo? Eh, en teoría, tendríamos que completarla antes de mañana. Uh, ya. Yeah. Es que ya como he tenido este problemas con el internet, no he podido avanzar mucho, pero... ¿En qué por... parte va ahorita? Ahorita por la 3. 
Oh, nos falta un poquito, all right. No es muy complicado, it is not too difficult, all right. La 4 y la 5 son de pasados, all right. So, si he estado atenta a las clases, va a ver que es bastante sencillo, all right. Vamos a trabajar, de hecho, ahora también para eh, la parte número 5 para que se les facilite. Y de ser posible, si intentamos terminarlo lo antes posible, si podemos entre ahora y mañana, que le dedique un par de minutitos y, y ya, ya terminamos, right? Hello, Mr. Pineda. Gracias por unirse. Thank you very much. How are Hello. you? Fine. All right, that's really good to hear. Vi su mensaje, congratulations. Por ahí vi el diploma, right? So very good job. Okay, thank you. Gracias por enviarlo. All right, so gracias por estar acá. Thank you very much for joining. Okay, vamos a dar inicio um, to today's class. All right, and this is session number 15. And I'm going to like show you a couple of, uh, well, the activities that we will be doing. First, we have the objective that is by the end of the class you will learn how to ask and answer wh questions with did was and where el día de ayer trabajamos un poquito bird be uh, bird to be ya habíamos trabajado did ahora los ponemos juntos okay uh, you will also practice a conversation okay so you feel more um confident at the moment that you're talking all right para que um, it comes a little easier by the moment that you start speaking with another person. Let's take a look at this uh, part here. We have simple past tense, all right? And we have a couple of words that you can use when we are talking about past. For example, you can use yesterday, last year, in and this year, I can split it. I can say 14, 76 and it is okay or i can say 1476 uh, also we have this one in and i have a year one more time so i can say in 1995 or in 1995 all right so the way that is easier for you it's okay we also have a last week we can change it for last month, last year, etc. And here we have five years ago, two days ago, 10 years ago. So we can change this, okay? We can modify it. So, um, well, I see that more people have joined. Uh, Hugo, gracias por unirse. Victor as well, gracias por unirse. That it's great to have you here, okay? So, Let's take a look at the short conversation that we have right here. So do me a favor, um, active los micrófonos, please. Have them ready. And we are going to repeat this conversation, okay? So first we have Melissa and Chuck, all right? And Melissa says, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Let's repeat it. So Chuck, where did you grow up? Okay, first. What is the meaning of grow up? Grow up. What is grow up? ¿Qué significa? What is the meaning of grow up? ¿Dónde creciste? Thank you very much. Exactly. And Chuck says, I grew up in Texas. Let's repeat it. I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Texas. I grew in the Texas. I was born there too. I was, I was born, there born there too. too. Okay, and when did you come to Los Angeles? And when, and did, when you did you Los come Angeles? to Los Angeles? In 1990. 1990. In 1990. 1990. I went to college here. I went, I went to college, college here. College here. Oh, and what was your major? Oh, oh what was what you major? Drama. 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 I was an actor for five years after college. I, I was an actor, actor for five, five years after, after college. That's interesting. That's, That's interesting. interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? <laughs> 
So, so why did you why call, did you a, call hairstyle? a hairstyle? A hairstyle. Because I needed the money. Because, because I, I needed, needed the money. money. And I love it. Look. And, and, I, love I, love it. It. and I love it. Look. What do you think? What, what do, do you think? think? All right. And Melissa is like, uh, well, you know. Okay, so what do you think? This is her hairstyle. Okay. First, let's focus in the question. Number one, where did you grow up? Donde creciste? Where did you grow up? So tell me, where did you grow up? Uh, I see also Carolina is joining. All right. So Carolina, tell me, where did you grow up? A donde creció? Where did you grow up? Take a look at the answer. I grew up in... I grew up in El Salvador. Ah, okay. Here, podemos mencionar el lugar específico, right? I grew up in, in Chalatenango, for example, right? I grew up in Soyapango, and it's okay. So, a donde crecieron, right? Where did you grow up? Victor, tell us, where did you grow up? Right, so I guess Victor is still uh, getting ready. Okay, don't worry. That's just fine. Now let's take a look at this one. So can you tell me where you grew up? All right. So um, let me see. We have here Hugo. Tell tell us please. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Cabañas. Ah, all right. Very good. So take a look at this. Grew up is el pasado de grow up. All right. And uh, when Hugo, do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I live in San Salvador. Okay, so take a look at this question. When did you come to San Salvador? When? When did you come to San Salvador? I went come in San Salvador in 911. Uh, oh, okay. sorry, sorry. No, don't worry. Don't be sorry. That's okay. Okay, in 2011, all right. In 2011, very good answer. Como es que venimos a San Salvador, we can say, uh, I came. Yo vine. Your answer is really good. Okay. Thank you very much. What about this one? Take a look at this. What was your major? Like, ¿cuál fue su especialidad, la carrera, you know? So, did you graduate already? Okay, let me ask a couple of you. I remember, okay, Alfredo Flores. Hello, mister. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. I'm fine. Okay, great. That is really good to hear. Uh, mister, what was your major? ¿Cuál fue su carrera? What was your major? I was an accountant. Ah, okay. So accounting, all right, accounting. So take a look at my next question. Why did you become an accountant? Porque se convirtió en contador. Why did you become an accountant? This person said because I needed the money and necesitaba el dinero, right? What about you? Why did you become an accountant? Uh, because I like it. Ah, okay, very good. Because you liked it. Thank you very much. Tenemos otro accountant. Do we have another one here? I believe not, right? Elia, what do you do for a living? Perdón. Uh, ¿A qué se dedica? What do you do? Uh, cashier. Oh, you are a cashier. Okay, that's all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. And... Uh, and uh, tell me, Leah, where did you grow up? I grew up in El Salvador, in San Salvador. Oh, okay, so you grew up in San Salvador. Okay, very good. So very good. Let's take a look at these questions. I want you to pay attention to something important here. In the first question, where did you grow up? Solo tenemos un verbo and this is grow, okay? In the next one, when did you come? The verb is? Come, all right? In the next one, what was your major? ¿Cuál es el verbo? What is the verb? Was. 
was. So wow. if you remember, we said yesterday, no los combinamos. We don't put them together, okay? So we are going to check this right away. So let's take a look at this. We have affirmative and negative sentences. Uh, we have was and wasn't for this pronoun. I was at school yesterday or I wasn't at school yesterday. He, she, and it. We use the same. Negative. We, you, and they. We are going to use we were at the beach. They were at the beach. You weren't at the beach. So this is the way we use was and were. Okay. Now I will skip the next one. Okay. And because I want to focus in this part that is questions. Okay. Number one, we said yesterday. Vamos solamente a invertir el orden. We do a little switching. Okay. So was I hungry? Was he hungry? Was she hungry? So let's almost un cambio, all right? We do a little um, change, a little shift. And what about the answer? Yes, she was, or yes, she was hungry. No, she wasn't hungry, or no, she wasn't. Respuesta corta, respuesta larga. Short answer, long answer. Both are possible, okay? Now, take a look at the following. Where, this is the plural one, okay? Were we at the theater last weekend? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. And again, I can also give you, give you um, like a long answer. Yes, we were at the theater last weekend. No, we weren't at the theater last weekend. So, are we okay so far? Estamos solamente haciendo un uh, recap, okay, de lo que vimos el día de ayer. If you have any question, please let me know. Levantemos la mano, all right? And uh, I can stop. So far, is everything good? Estamos super bien? Are we nice? Yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. All right. Now, let's take a look at this. Remember this part. This is really important. Verbi no se combina con otros verbos, all right? For example, I have worked. Everybody, let's repeat. Worked. Worked. Danced. Danced. Carried. Carried. Bought. 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 Thank you. Exactly. So we have regular verbs that are the ones that have ed, okay? So it is the same verb as present, just with ed. Word, danced, and carried. They have only ed. And this one, this is an irregular verb because present is by and the past is but. So, one more time. Regular verbs, they have ed in simple past. Irregular verbs, they change. They can change, um, maybe one word can change. Maybe two words, I mean, uh, the letter, right? One letter, two letters, or the whole word uh, will change, okay? Now, with these type of verbs, it is really important to take into account the next part. If it is a negative sentence, algo que yo no hice, I am going to use didn't. No, wasn't me wearing, but didn't, okay? For example, I didn't play tennis last weekend, I didn't clean the windows. I didn't go to the dentist. So one thing, first of all, we use didn't. Second thing, no cambiamos el verbo. We cannot change the verb. Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, are you following me? Yes. Remember, if you have questions, uh, share them in the, in the chat, okay? And now, this is the part that maybe it is going to be more complicated. Questions. We use did, the pronoun, okay, or the subject of the sentence, and then the verb. Did you find your umbrella? Did you buy shoes? Did you play soccer? Did you study? Did you finish the platform? Did you get the diploma? Okay, so no cambio el verbo, and we use did at the very beginning. Of course, you can have short answers. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Or long, long answers, yes, I found my umbrella. No, I didn't find my umbrella. Remember, negativas no cambio el verbo. I didn't find my umbrella. All right? 
Now let's take a look at this. It says over here, transform the sentences into like this, into simple past. This sentence right here is in present. The sentence right here is in simple present as well. I will give you like three minutes and I want you to make these sentences in past, okay? We have here positive, negative, and questions. Same thing here, positive, negative, and questions. If I have, he is at the park now, como digo, ella estaba en el parque, o ella estuvo en el parque, ayer, for example. So this is what we are going to do, all right? We are going to, um, vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio de tiempo, all right? So I will give you like three, four minutes, take notes, write them down, okay? And if you have any question, let me know, please.
Okay, everybody, so I guess we are done, okay? And if we are not, don't worry, okay? We are going to share um, answers. So allow me just a second, we are going to make some groups, all right? And what I want you to do is share your answers with the rest of your classmates, okay? So just a minute, all right, here we go. Uh, please practice with um, your partners, all right? Let's get started. Que Ajá, vaya, lo que hizo ella es que dio como una frase, digamos. Uh -huh. Entonces había que hacer la pregunta, contestar positivo en, y en negativo. Uh -huh. okay. Hello there, ¿cómo vamos? Uh, did, you, did you finish? Were you able to finish the sentences? Uh, sí, yes. No, no, no. Es, Uh -huh. Yes, Caro, tell me. Eh, no, yo le comentaba a, uno, bueno, a los compañeros ahí que eh, he tenido problemas con la conexión, entonces eh, no he podido estar, no, no he oído las indicaciones porque se me caía la conexión. Ah, don't worry. No, okay. no, um, okay. Por eso es que no puedo ahorita como participar. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. Voy a I, escuchar. Am, I am sharing my screen. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can see this. So we have transformed the sentences into positive, mm -hmm. negative, and question in simple past. You can take a picture, para que se le haga más fácil, right? So you can take a picture there. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. we have, she is at the park now. Vamos a hacerlo pasado. We are going to make it past mm -hmm. de las tres formas. Positive, negative, and question. Okay. For example, hagámoslo pasado y hagámoslo positivo, all right? She was exactly the part, yes or no? Perfect, that's mm -hmm. it. Negative, mm -hmm. what about negative? She wasn't at the part the last month. Excellent. You see, you can do it. That is awesome. What about question? ¿Qué hacemos con la pregunta? What do we do with questions? Was she? Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. ya resolvió la primera. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Bueno. <laughs> so that's okay. Now, hacemos bueno. lo mismo. We will do the mm -hmm. same with the part that is below, okay? She goes to the hospital okay. to visit her friend, okay? Como sería? Positive, negative, and question. Okay. So, okay. Eh, moto A, eh, hello there. Just allow me a second. No pude escuchar antes la moto eh, no puedo ver el, el nombre, all right? So, si pueden eh, hablar con, con, 
quién está detrás, all right, del nombre de Dios, I'm okay. <laughs> Guys, and your pictures, I'm like, who is Carolina, you know, I'm always trying to remember the faces, okay. <laughs> Share your picture cuando puedan, okay. All right. O podemos subir una foto también, you can also upload a picture, all right. Okay, very good, so continue practicing, okay, allow me just a second, voy a ver cómo van los demás, all right. Thank you. Was she at the park yesterday? Okay. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo vamos por acá? How are you doing here? Eh, le comentaba a Alfredo que, por ejemplo, en esta que tenemos de She is at the park now, en pregunta, Was she at the park yesterday? Le comentaba a él que por qué y según lo que yo entendí, Uh -huh. Es que cuando necesito una respuesta corta, yo ya no necesito ponerle una WH. Solamente así como acá, was she at the park yesterday? ¿Sí o no? Um, what happened with this es que uh, una WH me pide información. As you said, yes. sí se puede dar respuesta corta. However, eh, como solamente estamos haciendo una transformación, it is not necessary. But si le agregaron una WH, it's okay. All right, la idea okay. es solamente transformarla. For example, I have here, she is at the park now. Si lo hago pasado, she was, right? Yes. Okay, now, en pregunta, lo único que voy a hacer es este y este, los intercambios. I change the order y eso es todo. That's it. Okay. So, was she at the park yesterday? And if you want, sí se le puede agregar una WH. But right now, solamente es una transformación. Sí se puede, it's fine. But como solamente es una transformación, we're good. That is just fine. Okay? Thank you, DJ. You are welcome. You. What about the second part? What about the second sentence? She goes to the hospital to visit her friends. Oh, her friend. What do you have in the second? She did go to the hospital to visit her friends. All right. Here... Positive. Ok, hay algo bien importante que tenemos que recordar. ¿Cuándo vamos a hacer el cambio de verbo? All right. For example, go. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? Went. Ok, thank you. That is went. En oraciones positivas, yo tengo que cambiar el verbo. All right. No le puedo poner bien. So, she goes to the hospital. Aunque lleve el auxiliar. Eh, lo que sucede es que el, el auxiliar no lo ocupamos acá, ¿all right? Sí se puede, y es posible, pero tiene un objetivo específico. Por el momento vamos a obviarlo, ¿all right? Later, en avanzado, van a ver el, el objetivo, ¿all right? De util, utilizar B, ¿all right? But right now, vamos a dejarlo de un ladito, ¿ok? And uh, vamos a hacer la conversión del verbo. So, as Alfredo said, el pasado de go es went. So, yo quiero decir que ella fue al hospital. She. She went to the hospital to visit her friend. Very good. Exactly. That's it. She went to the hospital. Now, negativas. ¿Qué le agrego a la negativa? What can I add? Negative sentences, ¿cómo hacemos negativas? Beatriz, are you there? Is, is, is. Ah, yo solo he hecho la del parque, la negativa que es. Is she at, is she at the park now? She was, she was, el pasado de is. Solo que, can, if you pay attention here, cambiamos el now por yesterday, two days ago, three days ago. Vamos a cambiar este y vamos a cambiar esa. Both, all right? Cambiamos a ambos, Beatriz. Eh, boys, what about you? Tenemos ambos, do we have a... Tenemos esta parte de acá, do you have the second sentence? The negative, she did go mm -hmm. to the uh, hospital. All right, she didn't, okay? She didn't go to the hospital, all right? What about questions? ¿Qué tenemos en pregunta? What do you have? Visit the hospital at your friend. 
All right, but remember, vamos a seguir estructura, okay? Eh, es muy importante respetar also the structure we have. ¿Qué le agrego a la pregunta? What can we add to the equation? WH. Okay, WH. Después de WH, ¿qué iría? What can we use? El auxiliar. Ah, didn't. good. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? What is the auxiliary? Didn't. Did, did. did. Okay, did. Very good. Comenzamos desde el did. Did. Did she? Y luego? She go. Exactly. Did she go to the hospital? Fue al hospital. Did she go to the hospital? Y eso es todo. Did she go to the hospital to visit her friend? So, el WH no sería necesario here, again, porque solo estamos transformando, right? But really good. You have, a, the answers are right. Let me show the answers to you. Okay, there you go. So, did she go to the hospital to visit her friend? Okay, and that's it. All right, so very good, very good job. Allow me just a second. Vamos a volver a la sesión principal, okay, to continue this part, okay? Thank you. Hello, hello. Okay, so after this short practice, allow me just a second here. I am going to show the answers to you. Okay, and this was the exercise. I want you to pay um, attention to the answers. Okay, so these are the answers. All right, there we go. So, tenemos algo similar? Do you have something like this? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. So if you did it like this, okay, have it clapped, okay, claps to yourself. Very good job, okay? These are the answers. Now, I have just like two more exercises for you. And this is the next one. This one says fill in the gaps with the correct uh, simple past form of the verb. If you pay attention here, tenemos de todo. Uh, regular, irregular, verb B, was, were, pasados, and everything. So I will give you three minutes. Don't write it down, okay? Or if you want, you can write just the answers, okay? Or you better think about the, the answers uh, that you can have in this part. Si necesitan revisar el diccionario for vocabulary, go ahead, no problem. I will give you three minutes. Let's complete the exercise. By the way, I am right here. Si tienen preguntas, if you have any questions, let me know, please. Thank you. 
One more minute. Okay, everybody, so um, I am going to show the answers right here, okay, and I need your help, all right? So first of all, let's take a look at number one. I will give it away. Uh, it says here that this is a positive sentence, so we have it like this, okay? Is it good? Do you have it like this? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Number two, yawn, and then uh, in here we have break. This is positive. So what is the past or break? Broke. Uh, yes, excellent. Okay, very good, claps for you. Three, this one is ask, and this is a question. How do we make questions? Did you ask? Mm, all right. Yes, excellent. This is really good. Number four, take a look at four. Oh, number four is negative. Did you ask? Uh, yeah, number three, did you ask? Exactly. Oh, well, this is really good. What about four? They. Necesito una oración negativa, right? They. They didn't have. Did have. They didn't have. Very good, exactly. And the last, number five, this is a question, okay? ¿Qué le voy a agregar? What can I add right here? Where? Were they at the party? All right, let's check this out. Very good, were they at the party? Excellent. ¿Cómo sé que no va a decir? Oh, because simply, well, no hay ningún otro verbo, all right? And we, when you don't have another verb, so entonces, verb to be, all right? Okay, very good. And this is the last activity for today. This is your talking time, and uh, we have three questions uh, right here. Number one says, what did you do yesterday? What did you do on your last uh, holiday or vacation? And describe a memorable event in your life, all right? Something that is unforgettable, something you cannot forget. Is that good? 
If you want, you can take a picture, okay? O solo nos recordamos, that is all right. So everybody, we are going to get in uh, groups one more time, all right? And please speak as much as possible, all right? Vamos a tener un par de minutos, I will give you five minutes para que puedan compartir your experiences, what you did on your last vacation, what you did yesterday, etc. All right, so let's talk. Hello there, hello, hello. Moto E. Hello, can you hear me? Hi there. Yes, last one the one. What did you do on your last holiday? I went to the um, cemetery. No sé cómo se dice cemetery. Cemetery, yeah, that's cemetery. okay. Cemetery. Mm -hmm. um, Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Eh, en este caso, como es. Pienso yo un plan a futuro debería ir going to. Um, um, can you give me the, the, the example one more time? What did you do on your last holiday? Um, okay. La pregunta dice, dear. So me está indicando que fue algo ah. el pasado, yes. Si sí, usted me dice como. Ah, I perdón. Ajá, uh -huh, ya yeah, sería futuro, sería otro tiempo. All right, yeah. Sí, sí, tiene razón. Okay. Thank you. Es por, por cuestiones de tiempo, right? Para indicar si es ayer o mañana. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Sí, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sí, lo so, he interpretado mal. Ah, okay. No, don't worry. That's okay. So tell me, what did you do on your last holiday? What did you do on November the 2nd? Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not here. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. What did you do on November the 2nd? What did you do on your holiday? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I went to the cemetery in the morning. Okay. Yeah, tell, tell, give me more, give me more. What else? Uh, in... in the at, as, at home uh, sleep. <laughs> ah, okay. So in the afternoon you slept a lot. Okay. All right. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, did you watch TV? Did you play? Did you check on um, your Facebook? Did you do anything? Mr. Alvarenga, no, you didn't do Repeat, any of those please. activities. Yeah, sure. Did you check your, your Facebook? Did you chat? Did you watch TV or any other activity? Hizo algo más? Did you do anything else? Eh, lo siento, pero a veces se escucha cortada y no le alcanzo a entender. Creo que el internet me está fallando. Ah, okay. No, no problem. That is okay. Uh, that's fine. I will share this in the in the chat. Okay. 
so uh, okay you said that you went to the cemetery yes and later you slept uh carolina what about you what did you do um i went to the cemetery in the morning too yeah um I stay in my home. Okay. I I cook. No sé cómo se dice cook. Yeah, este, cook. I cook. Con una al final. Okay. I cooked uh, the um, um, the lunch. All right. Um, I watch TV. All right. Um. Planchar, no sé cómo se dice. Oh, iron, I, iron. I, iron uh -huh. um, the clothes. Okay, good. Um, holy. Okay, excellent. Oh, no. That was great. Okay, that was all right. Very good job. Okay, uh, so any other? All right, allow me just a second. Voy a ir a verificar cómo les está yendo los demás. Okay, continue okay. practicing. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, Hugo. Hello, hello. How are you doing here? ¿Cómo les está yendo? <laughs> okay. All right, so tell me. ¿Pudieron practicar? Did you have the, the opportunity to practice? Uh, poco, poco, porque no, no tomé captura y, y no tampoco la han compartido acá en, en el grupo. Ah, all right. ah, pero Beatriz me está, me está eh, dando ahí las la preguntas. Ah, eh, oh, ok. Sí. All right, yeah, les compartí unas en el chat también, ok, so you can check them um, as well. So that is quite fine. All right, very good. So tell me, what did you do eh, first? Comenzamos, what did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hicieron? I was at work. Was at work. Ah, ok. You were at work. At nice. Eight, at 5 o'clock. Ah, ok. Um, yes, I'm watching television. Ok. We take a watch. dinner. Right. Watch. Watch. Uh -huh. Watch television. Ok. Ok. Um, la cena. <laughs> Oh, you, you ate it. dinner or you had dinner? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Did you take a nap? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That is really good. Uh, that feels good. It was good. in English class. At, at night. night. At 10. Oh, okay. okay. I go to the bed at uh, 10 o'clock. <laughs> ah, okay. Exactly o'clock. Okay. <laughs> so we finished the class and then you went to bed. Thank you, Mr. Flores. Yes. Very good job. Very good pronunciation. Okay. Beatriz, hello. I go. I go to bed and finish class. Okay. I, I, I go eat dinner. Mm -hmm. um, Ah, okay, okay. Very good. That's quite fine. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Solo no se le olvide eh, los cambios de verbo, okay? So, I, en vez, de, en vez de go, usamos I, el pasado de go, exactly, went, el pasado de eat, like yo comí, I, very good, exactly. Solo no se les olvide hacer los cambios, okay? Lo demás super bien. Your sentence está bien ordenado, all right? Only the verb. Okay, very good job. So allow me just a second. Vamos a, a salir y vamos a volver a la sesión principal, all right?
Hello, hello. Hello. We are just missing Hugo. Okay, hold on just a second here. Okay, there we go, excellent. Okay, thank you very much. So, gracias a todos. Uh, thank you for participating in today's class, okay? That was really good. We had the opportunity to practice uh, simple past tense in questions, right? And especially esta diferencia con did and verb to be, all right? So, I don't know if uh, antes de terminar, do you have any question for me or is everything good? Everything good. No Hugo, Beatriz, Carolina, Alfredo. No no questions, okay? No. Perfect. So thank you very much for joining. All right. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Mañana terminamos um, the module, right? So no se les olvide, por favor, completar la plataforma si les falta todavía, all right? Otherwise, compartamos su, la, la picture de su diploma, like, I did it, I finished, okay? Para uh -huh. que animemos también a los demás a que lo terminen, all right? So thank you, everybody. Uh, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care.